Assalamualaikum, my name is Mr. Zaini Bermud Sakim. So, I'm going to talk about uh, the dashboard engineering for our SAM dashboard. So, first of all, how do we configure all of this dashboard? I'll be talking about how do we need to uh, set up this risky event detected pie chart. So, first of all, just press the create visualization right here. And then, uh, search for proportion of pie. Then we find the event type and then drag it for the field here. As you can see, there's, uh, <coughs> there's only five of uh, field that has been shown. So in order to face that, we just uh, change the number of values here to six. And then all, all of them. And also change the events here. Uh, we just group remaining values other and turn it off. And then we have all six of this uh, category of event types and just click save and return alright so uh, in order for us to do the number of entries so basically this, this is the number of events that uh, we detected uh, in a day and then print create visualization and then drag on the records right here and select legacy metric and then just click save and return so next, uh, for the device time, click visualization and find the uh, the art gauge here and relate it to the device time and drag. And there you go. So if you wanna change the color of it or anything, just for aesthetics, just for back here, band colors if you want, and change the color. For the color palette, then click save return, and then uh, for the total event severity, it shows uh, how how many how many event severity that has happened uh, that day in a certain date. For example, we have, we have uh, fifty-one point twenty-two percent was low and medium, and also high. So how to do that? We just create visualization, and then find the uh, proportion of the nut and then we're going to look into uh, the event severity and drag it here and as you can see it's the same but the color you can change the color too by clicking here color mapping add the colors and you can turn off this color mapping if you want and select whatever the temperature and then click save and reset. So for the rest, I'll be leaving to Hakimi to explain about it on how to configure the engineering dashboard. Hello, Rahman Rahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. And my name is Mama Ikmal Hakimi by address. And I will continue our demonstration. So I will go to the IP address. So we click the IP address and we go to the create visualization. And we go to the source IP address and we drag here and we change the bubble decision to the table and we go to destination IP address and we drag here. So next we save and return. So it's done for the so we go to the high alert organization we click here and we go to the create visual visualization and we we drag source organization and we change the bio vertical stack to the table and we drag Mm, event type and the last one is we drag timestamp okay. so lastly we save and return okay okay for the last one is protocol we go and click the create visualization and we go to the source protocol and we drag here 
and we change to the be horizontal and save everything okay so here we create the three protocol uh, protocol IP address and high alert organization so that's all for me thank you hello assalamualaikum uh, my name Muhammad Faiz Aidi and I'm going to talk about uh, monitoring Kibana uh, first uh, we change the the date to thirteen December two thousand twenty three. Uh, from here, uh, we can see uh, risky event detected, uh, IP address, high alert organization, number of trees, device times, total severity, and protocol. Uh, for example, uh, we select uh, DDoS here. Yeah, uh, uh, here we can see about, uh, the IP address, DDoS IP address that we detect. Uh, and here we can see the name, the source of DDoS, and the number of DDoS that we detect. And this one, 2738, uh, is the count of record. And 247 is the device name. And next, uh, we take uh, malware. From malware, yeah, uh, from malware, you can see uh, it changed here, because uh, this is the IP address, the malware IP address, and the high level organization, uh, the name here Ramirez, and there's two times that we detect, and there are two hundred fifty six count record. And 256 in the best name. Right, we change to 14 December. Yeah, 14. 14 December. Okay, here we can see there's a 43% the doors, the three normal, and the yeah, others. Uh, we take brute force. From brute force, you can see there's a IP address here, and there's the source of uh, Bucker, Tucker, and one brute force record brute force that we detect. And there's a 31 uh, record of brute force that we detected on 14 December 2023, and there's also 31 device time. Next, we take uh, SQL injection. From SQL injection, you can see uh, Adam's group also one detection for 14 December and 30 count record and 30 device time. Alright, that's it for me. Thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Okay, after the explanation, how we want to create the elastic cabana, and then how we want to install the elastic cabana, and how we want to create the dashboard at the elastic cabana. Right now, I will explain how we want to check the IP address is from the attacker or from the our members. Okay, first we look at the our at my dashboard. It's already show the IP address. So take one of the IP address from this. We copy it. Okay, we must take the, the destination address because destination address show who request the file and where the file have been sent. Okay, after we copy it. We go to virus total website. At the virus total website, go to search and then paste the IP address. Okay, right now, uh, virus total will tell us 
the IP address is from the malicious owner. Okay, right now the IP address we show that I have picked is from the malicious IP address. Okay, that's all for me. Thank you. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, my name is Akil Amkori bin Muhammad Abis and I will take over on the investigation part. So uh, basically what I, uh, what I will uh, show to you guys is I will investigate and analyze the activities and the details of the suspicious IP address using virus total here yeah, virus total website so the virus total website basically uh, it can show uh, to us that uh, IP address that uh, we uh, search for are either being attacked or not uh, so here let's choose some uh, uh, from the Kibana bot uh, let's choose some uh, attack here risky event detached so I choose DDoS attack alright and then I will use this one 138 uh, this one IP address 138.68.9.83 and I copy this go to the virus total website and just paste here and search enter so here as you all can see uh, it show that I indicate that indicate that uh, IP addresses uh, is malicious it show as a red sign here red color uh, nine, uh, 9 over 93 security vendors flag this IP address as malicious as you all can see so shows that uh, what kind of attack here phishing malicious malicious so uh, if uh, if the IP address uh, IP address that we search for uh, is uh, safe it ma it could be uh, the green color one so let me show you guys other other kind of uh, IP address that might be uh, safe so we search the normal one uh, the normal IP addresses so here I will choose uh, we will take this one, 181 here, 181.100.65.222. So I copy here and I paste it back here. So paste and we enter. So here we uh, indicate that uh, this IP address is safe uh, regarding that no security vendor flag. This IP address is malicious. So all the uh, detail of each IP addresses is shown like here from where Telecom Argentina S. A, uh, which last, uh, last analysis data was five months ago, and there's uh, also security vendors analysis here. Make sure it is not unrated. Uh, uh, regarding that, no, uh, no others upper attack that uh, acquired. So uh, I guess that's all from me. Thank you.